Today we're breaking down Deepika Padukone's look from a role that was quite defining in her career. It was the role of Veronica from the movie Cocktail. Hey guys, I'm Shikha and this is Fashion at the Movies. Deepika's character is a party girl who also has a touch of free-spiritedness to her. So her outfits were not all glam. They were glam with a touch of casualness. For example, her entry scene where she's seen wearing a sheer sleeveless embroidered dress that she styled with a hot pink bralette on the inside. The embroidered dress also had tassels on the hem and it was also very vintage looking as it was flapper style. Another look that she wore that went on to become really popular was a golden sequins mini dress that she was wearing. It had a V neckline with short sleeves. It was a simple dress but it made a statement. In another one of her looks, she was seen wearing an Aztec printed mini skirt that she wore with a t-shirt that was cut from the top so it fell off the shoulder and tied from one side. So the Aztec printed mini skirt added a touch of glam to the look. She wore outfits such as monotone looks where she wore a pair of parrot green shorts with a top and she wore it with a pair of cowboy boots and a hobo bag to make it a little bit boho. She was also seen wearing a lot of striped dresses, sheet dresses, wide leg printed pants with tank tops and shorts and shirt dresses. For her accessories, she kept it really simple. Her footwear would always add this touch of glam, so whether it was a pair of wedges that had sequins on it or a pair of pop color bright wedges. She also carried a lot of sling bags which were designer wear. A signature bag that she carried was the Chanel quilted sling bag. So let me show you what look of Veronica's we have recreated. Let's call our model in. So on Anjali over here, we've given one of Veronica's casual looks. It's a shirt dress. You could also pick up any boyfriend shirt or your father's shirt or your brother's shirt that's oversized and wear it as a dress like this. You could cinch it from around the waist and give it a A-line effect. This dress is already a pre-made shirt dress, so it already has stitches over here that just brings it in from the waist and defines your waist. And then it flares out like a skirt. Uh, it also has these bishop sleeves that gives it that nice casual breezy uh, open vibe that Deepika had in all of her outfits. For the footwear we've kept it interesting and picked a pair of gladiators that have suede and denim in them and the other accessories are really minimal. Also what I've done with the shirt dress over here is kept the top few buttons open and have the collars popping because Deepika's look mostly had plunging necklines and green necklines so this kind of encapsulates that as well. And this is how you can dress like Veronica and keep it cool and stylish. I'll see you next time. Bye!